Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move forward just for the sake of time. So the first announcement that I have for you guys is I am trying to switch up the format a little bit on this group because instead of being present for a monthly masterclass, I think I want to be more present to teach more. So I want a lot of you to be able to interact so with me so that we have this time together to be able to spin and learn and grow. And that way you can ask me questions or we can talk about any concerns that you have. So that's the first thing that I wanna start to bring up because what I'm gonna be doing from now on is going live every week, Thursday at 7 p.m. I'm central, or excuse me, Pacific time zone. So it may be late for a lot of you guys, but um, that's just the best time that works for me to be able to be present for you every week, live delivering content that you guys are struggling with, that you guys have let me know you need help with, et cetera. Um, doing good, crazy energy though, great in yourself. Thank you. I am doing good. Well, I'm I'm not experiencing like the crazy energy personally. What's happens happening to me is more the Mercury retrograde stuff. It usually does not mess with my technology, but I have just not had any luck with technology. So that's where I've been struggling the most. But I'm hoping <laughs> that maybe it's finally time for me to get a new computer. I don't want anything to like crap you know breakdown or anything but i do i have been wanting a new computer for a long time because mine is very old over a decade old so anyway let's get into the message so you, you guys can go ahead and reclaim your night today i wanted to talk to you guys about how to get past negative energy and the reason why i picked this topic like i said is because i listen to you all and you give me your questions your concerns you dm me about the things that you're struggling with and one of the things that i want to talk to you about particularly with this negative energy is how to move past it but i want to let you in on one little secret um hey julie the reason why you can't get past negative energy is because it's going to be present. It's going to be a part of your life. If the negative energy is not coming from something that you are generating, as human beings in this day and age, we have to interact with people and be stuck in environments in which we have no control over. So there's going to be negative energy because it may be coming from different directions. After this video, though, I hope that you'll be able to use the information that I'm giving you to finally start to move forward in a more positive direction. So that's the goal. If you think that you're going to get past negative energy by leaving it in the past and never experiencing it again, that's a lie. And, I, and you need to know that right now. But in order for you to be able to move past it, I want to give you some tools that you can start to integrate into your life right now. Um, most of you already know me, so I'm not going to introduce myself too much, but there are some new people in the group and we went past 200. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, I'm Yashika. I'm a spiritual consultant and a life coach, trained spiritual consultant, trained life cult coach with a mission to give you information to help empower you and help you realize that you have more power and more control over your life than you give yourself credit for that you may have even been taught that you have um so let's get into the lesson oh number two guys this is a big one so pay attention this is the second big announcement before i move forward i totally forgot but for 2020, I am going to be one of the speakers, one of the presenters at the Northwest Tarot Symposium. So it's in March, very big tarot symposium on the Northwest coast of the U.S. So if any of you are going to that, let me know because um, I'll be there and I'll be speaking. I'll be able to tell you more details as I start to roll things out. But um, for those of you that want to start a tarot business, my topic is along the lines of taking your message global and starting an online business. So I'm excited about that. So anyway, now we will get into the lesson. Hey, Erica. So 
I need to make you realize this one thing if you are trying to get past negative energy and you feel like you're struggling. And this one thing that I need you to be aware of is the fact that if you don't have a clear vision and a clear um, purpose for yourself that you have control over, then you're going to not be able to move past negative energy. Moving past negative energy requires you to have a clear vision of who you are, where you're moving, your purpose in life, living life authentically, in spite of everything else and all the people around you. And if you don't have that, you are going to struggle with moving past negative energy. So I want you to type yes if you have that clear vision for yourself. And I'll wait for a second. The reason why this is very important, because if you have expectations, goals, outcomes, anything like that, that's based on other people and how they feel about you, how they think about you, how they interact with you and how they give back to you. At the same time, if you are in um, situations where you have to be in a place that you really don't have control over like for instance jobs most of the time when you go to your job yes you may um, have some creative control in your position but at the end of the day you still have to interact with people in order to keep that business afloat and that's something that you don't have control over so when you are in situations or in relationships with other people whether that be intimate friendships casual whatever and you don't have control over those things, but you base your expectations on how those things um, impact you and your life, then you're going to also find that you may have some difficulty getting past negative energy. The other thing that stops you from moving past negative energy is, and I say it time and time again, and you guys think that I'm going to be beating a dead horse, but it is focusing on the here and now. Again, the things that save you from negative energy are being connected to yourself on a, um, an internal intimate level. And if you are not able to do that, or if you are not able to um, shift your mindset in that direction, you're going to have a lot of trouble because the here and now is only a small piece of what your life could be. And the here and now is something that does, does not even correlate most of the time to what you are experiencing, what you're feeling and how you are trying to grow in the moment. What you experience in the here and now usually is a result of things, um, decisions, energy that has transpired in the past. And so if you can't get past that, you are not going to have a vision and a purpose higher knowing that if there are any challenges, if there is any negativity, if there is any doubt, that you can nip that off in the bud. You can nip it off in the bud, number one, because it's not in alignment with your vision. If you have a vision for your life to be this special kind of person and have these special kind of things and you're still trying to be in alignment with things that aren't in congruence, with what you want for yourself, you are not going to get past negative energy. If you are trying to be in alignment in situations that are not in congruence with who you are and what you want to be, then you are not going to experience getting past negative energy. I did a, uh, a lesson. It was probably maybe about four or five months ago. I had did a workshop on intuition on, on, and, and on personal boundaries. And one of the things that I taught them in that workshop was the fact that even if you don't know that you are doing this, you know, you guys know I like to come spiritual and I like to come scientific. On a scientific level, if you are hanging out with an energy that is negative, it decreases your power. It's almost like a car and you know how that car battery is connected. Even if you are not driving the car, if you're not starting the car, it's still a slow drain on you. So if you are continuing to align yourself with things that are not for your highest vision and purpose, you're not going to be able to get past negative energy. And I know you guys wanted me to probably come in and tell you how you could do it. But the first reason or the first way that you cannot be aligned with it 
is by nipping it in the bud. And that takes bravery, that takes courage, that takes discipline, not motivation. And I'm gonna talk about that next week, but it takes discipline to be able to cut off things that are not in alignment with you. And until you are able to do that, you, you are not gonna be able to move forward fully. You might take a few steps forward. You may take a whole bunch of steps forward to be, but to be fully disconnected from any sort of negativity that is happening in your life, any blocks, etc. It means that you have to step into your truth very bravely and very boldly and be connected with who you are. Um, living for the day to day does not work because day to day we experience things with our senses. We interact with people that may say something that hurts our feelings, or we may be in a relationship that is less than, or we may have parents or family members that are not supportive of us. And then we may have kids that kind of drain our energy away. And then we go to a job that we really don't love and that's not really connected with our purpose. And we know that we're meant for more in life, but we still have to give to something that we don't like. All of those things are not the uh, whole of who you are and the whole of your life. However, if you are not willing to sit back and really think about and learn how to connect with who you are and then walk in truth, once you do figure out who you are and once you do start to know that you are misaligned with some things in your life and learn to courageously let them go, then you're going to dissipate your power, dissipate your potential to be able to be all that you can be. So those are some of the things that start to um, keep you connected either energetically, scientifically, or very consciously with negative energy. So I want to know before I move on, does any of this make sense? So basically, after saying those two things, what I'm trying to tell you is that the solution lies within you. The solution lies within the power that you want to give people or the power that you want to give circumstances over your life, especially if you know that there's a greater vision and there's a greater purpose for who you are and where you're meant to go and how you can start to be aligned with that truth and not let things sway you off of your path and off of your centeredness. The number one thing that helps you with that is having a spiritual mindset. I'm beating a dead horse, but it's totally true. Once you start to shift from looking for evidence of what you are trying to do now, what you're trying to manifest now, what you are trying to create now, once you stop looking for that evidence in your day-to-day -day immediately and start to think more long-term, more broadly, more visionary, um, and more creatively about how you want your life to be, you will continue to let circumstances and interactions impact you negatively when when once you start to connect with yourself on a deeper level those same instances that maybe would have been perceived negatively to you start to be things that you can easily brush off and you can easily move forward and as your energy starts to increase and vibrate higher you start to inherently not even attract drama um, from situations and jobs and low energy people, et cetera. Um, you start to learn how to disconnect your energy from their energy. And it all starts with you knowing yourself. And the more you know yourself, the less that you are, um, the more that you know yourself, the more sensitive you are to the energy around you. And if you honor that, and cut things off, you will be more sensitive to the people around you and how they impact you. And I'm not saying sensitive like hurt your feelings. I'm saying sensitive like you will pick up on things that don't serve you. And again, it just takes having the courage to honor that. A lot of us know when we're getting stuck in a negative cycle and when we're unable to detach from that. And it's usually because we have made a decision um, to not honor where we know we need to move in life. 
sometimes we can't, right? If it's a job or a situation like that, but you can be in a situation that is less than, but be trying to improve yourself in the minutes that you are not in that situation. And even in the minutes that you are in that situation, because there's always a way to learn, there's always a way to grow, and there's always a lesson to learn. And in that betterment, you will start to see that you will soon start to shift out of negative energy. But again, if you want to see the shifts in your outer world, it starts with the shifts that you make in your inner world. You guys think that this is cliche. I'm telling you, it's not. So I'm about to go, but I just wanted to go over my notes because y'all know I love notes. <laughs> um, let's see. A clear vision. The number one thing you need to do, clear vision and purpose for yourself. How do you get a clear vision and purpose for yourself? You connect with your intuition. How do you connect with your intuition? I have a class on that. There's a link in the description of this video. So for those of you that have not experienced that free mini course, you might want to take that course because I go really deep into that situation. The number two way that you start to disconnect from negative energy is you stop focusing on the here and now. If you believe that there's a purpose for your life, if you believe that there's a higher vision for your life, and if you believe that you whatever you're experiencing right now does not have to be the defining moment of your whole entire life, then that's something that is going to shift you out of negative energy because you no longer focus on what you're experiencing day to day. You focus on a bigger picture. Um, it's like a, the stock market. You might lose some money one day. You might win some money one day, but what you're looking for is an overall pattern in your life. And if you feel that you're experiencing negativity, the first thing you need to do is ask yourself a question. How is this negativity being drawn to you and how are you participating in this negative energy? And again, I would bring you back to your intuition and connecting with yourself and talk to you about that clear vision and purpose. So the number two thing, the spiritual mindset is also honed in more in that class. So I would encourage for you, encourage you that haven't taken it to make sure you take it. Um, again, starting now and moving forward every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be going live to teach you some of the things that you've asked me about. The first thing that I just picked up because of the energy that we had this week was how to get past negative energy. The way that I get past negative energy is that I just stay grounded in my truth and in my purpose. And the only way that I was able to really truly find that was by taking some time and some moments to be able to sit with myself and learn myself. Um, and then um, when I learned myself, I had to be brave enough. It's Again, it's not motivation. I wasn't gung-ho about it. I wasn't um, at peace with the things that I've had to do. They made me anxious. They made me scared. They were things that I didn't want to do, but I had to do them because I had to trust in an energy and a purpose and a source that was bigger than myself, whether that be my best self, whether that be the universe, whether that be God, to know more than my little measly self knew when I was experiencing my day-to-day -day challenges. And if I honored that and when I honored that and when I was moving forward and not asking questions and not second guessing and just doing what I felt instinctively was right in my heart and my soul, that's where my biggest successes have come. Successes that I would not have dreamed of, like this tarot symposium that I told you about, things like that that I would have never imagined that I would be a part of. They just, something comes up and I learn to honor that, but it all came through developing that connection with myself. So check out that class. Does anybody have any questions before I go? All right, I will let you guys be at peace and I will talk to you next week, 7 p.m. Thursday. All right, take care. Bye.